I'm up. <laughs> I'm a little bit slow moving this morning. I was working till late and at the gym last night, so yeah, a little, uh, a little tired today. <laughs> But I'm up, I'm up, I pushed myself, I was like, you're getting up, you're getting up, just go, just do it. And uh, I got up and I'm going to make myself some coffee and I'm going to do my um, morning routine and I should be ready, I will be ready, I will be ready to take on the day. <laughs> morning guys I'm here at my studio this morning um, it's actually Halloween tomorrow so I've been working on Halloween stuff I've been working on Christmas stuff so I'm pretty exhausted um, it's been good though it's been really fun and I can't wait to show you guys what I've been up to check it out <laughs> shooting in the pitch black in a haunted house with black light as my only source of light. Now when you're shooting in low light conditions, cameras have a very hard time, DSLRs have a very hard time of focusing on the subject because it's too dark. So I had to improvise and move the light around, move my subjects around and it all worked out, but it, it was definitely a challenge. And I had to jump in the shot, look sexy. It was, it was ridiculous, but it worked. I feel like pushing myself and pushing myself to be creative, get outside the box, get out, push my boundaries and just, do stuff that's a little bit different really, really helps me in my work for my clients because I'm able to be creative and do what fuels me so that I get the blood flowing and pumping to that side of the brain and then it flows through every single project I'm doing. All my client shoots, even just flowing through my day-to-day -day life, I feel like I'm more like creative and 
awake and I don't know it's great I feel like it's very important for me to do those creative sessions so if you are a creative of any type I highly suggest you doing shoots or artwork for yourself so then the next day I took my daughter and her friend to Toronto. We went on the GO train to a haunted house. It was great, it was so great. And then on the way home, we were just about to get on the GO train to come home and they saw a sign for the aquarium that's nearby. And they're like, can we go, can we go? And I'm like, okay, let's do it, let's do it. So we were spontaneous and we went to the aquarium and they went off and just did their own thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna really immerse myself in this experience. I'm going to really, really enjoy it. So what I did was I took the mindfulness that I'm learning and that I'm, I'm practicing in my meditation and I actually brought that to my experience at the aquarium. I sat in front of the tanks and I just I just sat there and I observed. I was in the moment. I just looked at all the colors, looked at all the fish, where they were going, what they were doing, how they were interacting. It was really, really cool. It was different than how I have experienced things like that in the past. It was beautiful, it was beautiful. Then on Sunday, it was Halloween and I took my youngest out trick or treating. She got all dressed up, I put her makeup on and she was super pumped about her costume and she wanted her mom to dress up for Halloween too. So she put her kitty cat ears on me and then we found like this big black super extra robe I have for my boudoir sessions. Put that on, the black leather pants, and it, it was so extra. My outfit was so extra. I show up and all the, the other parents, you know, like I do once in a while get that feeling of like, oh God, I'm so extra. I'm standing out like a sore thumb. But I've learned to just embrace that feeling and push those thoughts to the back of my head and just be me because that's what feels good. It feels good to be me. Then Monday, I was right back into it. Head to Toronto and do a branding session for a Toronto real estate agent, Nick Crozier. I showed up, he had everything ready to go, all his outfits, his locations, he knew exactly what he wanted. And it was really cool to see his growth because I did a session for him a year ago. And he did great, for sure, but this time he went into it knowing exactly what he wants, exactly, you know, the type of content, shots, looks he wants, and it was just, we were able to bang through it. It was awesome, it was awesome. I have been crazy busy lately. After coming through COVID and just being busy and having clients and working again, it's like, I am so, so, so grateful, so grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But with that comes, <laughs> comes me feeling, you know, some, at times kind of overwhelmed and I'm really trying to work on being a lot more organized. I have ADHD, so sometimes my organizational skills are not the best. So I'm gonna try this approach. I'm gonna try to schedule my day hour by hour. So my workouts in, my meals, everything's gonna be in my schedule so I can just easily flow through my week. So I'll let you guys know how that turns out. I'm really hoping it works for me. Well, thanks for watching guys. This has been great. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything and like this video below. Let me know what you guys wanna see more of in the comments below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.